My name is Deborah Johnson. I'm from Swanee County. That's okay. That's okay. Um, there's several points I'd like to make. Um, FERC staff has concluded that the approval of the Sable Trail Pipeline or the SMP project would have some adverse environmental impacts. They say, however, these impacts would be reduced to less than significant levels with the implement, implementation of Sable Trail's proposed mitigation and the additional measures recommended in the draft EIS. The, this is straight from the draft EIS. The determination is based on a review of the information provided by the applicants, which be Sable Trail, and further developed from data requests, field investigations, scoping, literature research, uh, alternative analysis and contact with federal, state, and local agencies, as well as individual members of the public. For it appears, has also based its decision on a paid private consultant, maybe Sable Trails consultant, called Merchant. There are 16 individuals listed there in Appendix N of the draft environmental study. Uh, Merchant is a company that um, does consulting for oil companies and so forth and uh, actually, I guess, prepared, helped prepare the draft environmental statement. Is, I guess that's correct. Okay, um, I'd like to ask you what is less than significant? Are the risks to our water, our lands, our lives less than significant? Who knows our topology better than the people who have lived here for years rather than consultants that live in Minneapolis or all over the country. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about Sable Trail itself. Sable Trail Transmission LLC has no board members, well one board member. Uh, that board member is also a member of uh, Spectra Energy. This company is a drop-down company which is a pass-through company which means its parent, Spectra Energy, created this company specifically for this project. Spectra Energy will receive all the profits and will have little, if any, liability for Sable's mistakes. Um, sorry. Okay, in the DIS, this states that the Florida Aquifer is the most productive aquifer in the S&P project or Sable Trail Pipeline area and it's one of the highest producing aquifers in the world, producing 60% of Florida's groundwater. The karst terrain the Sable Trail project would go through is critical in controlling recharge and discharge of the Floridian aquifer system and is the principal reason the system is highly productive. FERC also goes on to say Sable Trail's restoration and construction methods, my time up. You can finish. Okay, restoration and construction methods as well as their training, inspection, and storage procedures for hazardous materials were found to be sufficient to protect groundwater in these areas. Well, Sable Trail is a company, they're again made up of consultants. They are a ghost company. They do not exist. They're a temporary company. So that is my point to be made there. Uh, may I make one more point about Spectra Energy since they will be the company operating this pipeline. Um, Spectra Energy has what is considered one of the worst histories of EPA violations concerning spills involving, involving toxins such as PCBs as well as pipeline mismanagement and more. Uh, recently on May the 31st of 2015 an explosion of a Spectra Energy pipeline took place in Arkansas River. Now Spectra says that they will monitor this pipeline 24 hours a day, seven days a week for explosions, ruptures, leaks, etc. Uh, they did not even know about the Arkansas pipeline rupture until 24 hours later when a tugboat operator reported upon it. There's a picture John's holding up there. Uh, the, uh, the damage to his boat. So I really question the safety of this project. Um, why should our lives, our water be in danger so, so that companies, okay, let's step back a little bit. The companies invested in Spectra, NextEra, FPL, which is NextEra, okay, uh, Duke Energy, are all invested in fracking, okay. This is to frack, this is to move fracked gas, they say, to FPL. 
into Duke Energy to small turbines, but we're talking about 1.1 billion cuban, cubic feet a day. That's a lot of gas. And uh, one has to wonder, since there's export stations already set up in Citrus County and in uh, Martin County, if this is project really is not for export, and if we're not having our lives and our very our water, everything, put at risk for the profits of a fracking company to export the frack gas. That basically sums up what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Johnson.